Hello and welcome to the Turbo Tutorial channel. This video is the last video of the series of how to run ANSYS VFX simulation on Compute Canada clusters. On the first video, we talk about Compute Canada clusters, the Bedoga, Cedar, Narval, Graham. We talk about their login address, the la their latest status is available in this address. The link for that video is available in the description of current video. Uh, also, in the second video, we talk about how to transfer our file from uh, our local computer to one of uh, this cluster using WinSPP software. The link for this video is also available in the description of the current video. Now, we want to submit a job, run a job, see the status of a running job uh, using mobile XTERM software. Before this, we need to prepare for each simulation a SLURM file. A basic file is available uh, for ANSYS VFX, a, a SLURM basic file for ANSYS VFX is available on the Compute Canada Wiki. Uh, you must type Compute Canada and VFX and using this address here you can find ANSYS VFX VFX SLURM script a stable version you must download this script and put it on the computer this is a basic file and uh, you must add some information on this file. You must change it based on your uh, username, for example. Here on the account, you must put the account name of your professor. There is a time limit for each simulation. The maximum time that a simulation can be run in Compute Canada is seven days. After, for example, in this simulation, after seven days, this simulation will be cancelled. Um, consider your simulation take two days, and one hour and 30 minutes, for example. And you can allocate a specific value for the memory for your simulation. Here I line and replace it with uh, this line. I now here I allocated a eight gigabyte memory for my simulation. Uh, sometimes you put a simulation on Compute Canada and due to some error your simulation uh, will not start it. To find what which error your simulation has. You can ask Compute Canada to export anything related to your uh, job in the output folder. You can prepare a, uh, an output folder on this address, for example, and based on this uh, job name, an output file dot out file will be uh, prepared, will be created on the this folder, and you can find which information or which error is related to your job also here in this file you can see two different type of module is available uh, if you are using uh, 2020 revision or older you um, you must use this module uh, or if you are using a higher version you can and a module version for your simulation. Now I am using 2019, therefore I must and use this module address. Um, you uh, also 
example, I prefer to add another thing to the simulation. I want to ask Compute Canada to uh, send me uh, to, uh, to send any email to my email address when my job begins or end or fail anything related to my job. Compute Canada will send me an email uh, and tell me what happened to my simulation. The last thing that I want to tell you is that here my simulation will be up after two days and one hour. I prefer to have a backup just before the simulation uh, will be cancelled. For example, if my simulation takes three days, uh, this after two days and one hour, my job will be stopped. Um, I want to ask Compute Canada to uh, save a backup for this simulation after 48 hours. And at this stage, okay. for example, after 48 hours, a backup will be created for my simulation. Now, this file is ready, and you can transfer this file from your local computer. And must transfer this file, that FS file from your, com your local computer using Linux CD to one of these clusters and start your job. Now I want to transfer this file. This file is here. I can copy the address and using Ctrl O. Here I prefer another one. This one. And I want to put this file on uh, the test. On, I created a test folder on uh, Narval. I and I just want to transfer this file. And this file we have a just SH file, a script for the simulation, and just dev. This is a uh, our file for ANSI CSX. Both of them now ready, and I put them all of them on the Narval. And I now I want to. Uh, start this simulation. To start the simulation, I must use mobile extend software and SSH Linux host for Narval. Narval. I just can create a, I, I have a copy of my password and using shift users, I just can type my password here, paste my password here, and I log now I log in to the normal. Using clear, I can clear the screen. The LS, I can the list of files in current address. Now I am in, uh, in the home of the, in the root of my normal uh, section. I want to go to a scratch folder. The scratch. Uh, using ls, I can create a list for the folder. I want to go to crc. crc. Again. LS. And LS, I can see the SH file and the dev file that is related to this SH file. Uh, now, using S batch, I can submit this job to I have a copy of this uh, file, just double click on the file, just SH file using shift inverse. Uh, you can have it here, S batch, the name of that SH file, and if you enter a job, you submit it. To see, uh, to cancel this job, just click on the 
Now, now you can use Excel here, Excel here, the page, and you want to know which job you have using F2, your username, you can see the jobs that uh, running on Compute Canada. For example, here I have two jobs and I want to cancel the first one, to cancel the first one using a scan, cancel. And if you gather to me on the job name, I'm using put insert, just you can easily cancel this job. For anything, canceling, sub submitting a job, running a job, starting a job, yeah, a Compute Canada will send an email uh, to you <coughs> here to and, and inform you what happened, a job began, a job canceled, anything related to job. To see uh, other, how many users have some job here, you can use the F2. And here you can see how many jobs are here, and you can search again. And now we can see too many jobs are running on our wall, and many jobs uh, are in queue. Okay, you can the screen and again excuse that you username I can see I have a job uh, if you want to but it's on waiting list uh, <clears throat> if you have any question uh, about running job on Compute Canada uh, type uh, your comment, your question, and I will answer you. Bye.